Hi everyone, welcome back to chapel. It's great to see you all and we're really looking forward to... Oh, sorry guys, better take this. Hello? Hi Georgia, long time no see. Penelope, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Where are you? I want to give you a hug. From two metres away, of course. Look to your right. Look to my right? Oh, wait, you're right. Oh, hey! What? I can't hear you. Huh? Welcome back, everyone. We're so glad to see everyone here in person. Well, more or less. This has definitely been hard, but everyone's been doing amazingly, so keep it up. Stay safe and be kind, everyone. Enjoy today's chapel. And Emily will bring us the reading. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 1 to 3. Keep being concerned about each other as the Lord's followers should. Be sure to welcome strangers into your home. By doing this, some people have welcomed angels as guests without even knowing it. Remember those who are in prison and be concerned for them. Don't forget those who are suffering, but imagine that you are with them. Have you ever done some small act of kindness for someone you don't know? Held a door open or given directions? Did your feelings towards that person change after you'd helped them? What we choose to do can have an impact on how we feel as well as contributing to the lives of others around us. I chose today's reading because it seems appropriate for our return to Level 2. It mentions three things. There is a call to continue to care for one another. We need to show respect and kindness and to be patient as we all adjust to Level 2 Delta. It mentions the importance of being welcoming, especially towards those who are not close to us. The unknown author of this letter makes the point you just don't know the significance your actions might have. I've certainly been in a situation at university where I chose to be welcoming towards a rather prickly classmate. I later found out he was dealing with a really tough family situation. Finally, the passage calls us to remember and even identify with those who are suffering. We need to think of and pray for those who are still in lockdown in Auckland and those who, for various reasons, find this a difficult time. The author of the letter to the Hebrews was writing to people in difficult times. In the midst of that, the author's central context was still holding on to what Jesus has done for us and remembering how much God loves us. Dear God, thank you that we can be back at school and that we are able to see our friends. Thank you that we can be out and about and are able to spend time with each other. We pray for those who have found lockdown difficult and those who are still in lockdown in Auckland. Please reduce any anxiety or stress they may be experiencing. Please give them constructive ways to connect and find happiness. Please help us to be patient with one another as we adjust to level two. May we show respect and kindness so everyone can feel comfortable. And we thank you for your care for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and always. Amen.